dear students welcome to our class on calculation of growing degree days gdd helio thermal units photo thermal units ptu and their efficiencies by definition growing degree days are summation of uh, mean temperatures over a base temperature the growing degree day is also known as uh, heat units thermal units effective heat units growth units etc i repeat once again gdd is also known as uh, heat units thermal units effective heat units growth units etc the accumulations are made on a daily basis and are also accumulated between any two phenological events of crop plants or dates here i would like to read once again the statement here the accumulations are made on the basis of uh, okay uh, between two phenological events of crop plants or dates what is uh, the exact meaning is uh, c vegetative phase reproductive phase maturity phase if we take from date of sowing to beginning of a uh, 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 reproductive phase we call it as for example vegetative phase once again i repeat it once we have sown the seed in a crop field then germination is there emergence is there and it completes some vegetative phase Say for example in general the vegetative phase of any crop in the tropical regions is around 35 days from sowing to 35 days each day maximum temperature minimum temperature we take we take average and base temperature we deduct it T maximum plus T minimum by 2 minus Tb base temperature. What is uh, the meaning of all these terms here? I will explain. The canonical form for calculating GDD is degree days. For, uh, okay, um, easy expression in uh, uh, units. It is mentioned degree days in the bracket degree capital D. So the canonical form is T maximum plus T minimum by 2 every day from 0 to 35 days every day. Maximum temperature, minimum temperature we take, average we take and we deduct the base temperature from the mean value of the temperature. So here T maximum plus and T minimum okay, are represent the daily maximum minimum temperature respectively. T base is the base temperature. Usually degree days are expressed as a degree day as I said to distinguish it from temperature units. Now here uh, in the next slide we we'll try to understand what is the concept what the concept assumes. Now here most important points are there is a direct and linear relationship between growth of a crop and, and air temperature. The crop requires a definite amount of accumulated heat energy for optimum crop yields. The biotic potential of uh, an agriculture crop plant is uh, dependent on the heat requirement for its growth, development, reproduction, they need, etc. So, what is the meaning of this concept assume, uh, assumptions? Now, see, just uh, an example you take. In the morning, you take breakfast. By taking breakfast, you get some energy. With that energy, you attend the classes, you listen, you write, and return to lunch. After taking lunch, you get some energy from the food. Then you go for afternoon classes, and sometimes uh, you go after the class are over in the evening, go for a game, playing a game. So that means uh, energy is required. So the GDD concept also assumes that there is a direct and linear relationship between the growth of a crop and air temperature. Coming to the analogy I told. 
there is a direct relation between your breakfast and your attending to the classes listen patiently there is a direct relation between your taking lunch and then studying in the afternoon classes and going for some uh, playing a game so similar 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 uh, linear relationship is anticipated in the uh, growth growing degree concept now Similarly, a crop also requires a different amount of accumulated heat energy for optimal crop yields. Now, here, same analogy if you take. If you take too much of food, you get drowsiness and cannot eat, cannot sit in the class and the evening you cannot play. If you take too less of food, that also is not good for you to attend the classes and playing in the game. So, there is a different amount of accumulated energy you need. So, that much food in form of energy which he gives you later will help. Same assumption here. Now, the biotic potential of any agricultural crop plant is dependent on the heat requirement, but it's growth. That means, you know, growth, okay, vegetative growth, reproductive growth, like that. Development. So, we are, you know, phenologically and then even morphologically, there is a development. Reproduction and grain yield, all these things dependent on the, okay, the growing degree that is where it is assumed. Now here in the equation T maximum plus T minimum by 2 minus T B we said it. What is meant by T B? It is the best temperature. So I am very uh, happy and then I am very uh, contented uh, to state that I worked for long on this base temperature. I have given very good clarity in my books in my research articles. For Kharif season, 10. For Rabi season, it is 5. In other words, uh, when you take uh, the sunshine recorder, long curved cards, short curved cards, straight cards. Okay. Long curved cards, 10 degrees. 10, 10 base units. Okay. Or base temperature. Short curved card, 5. Straight cards, 7.5. That also you can take it. Now, here. The base temperature is the temperature below which the internal metabolism activities of a cropland cease to function. That means below that particular temperature, whether it is in the Kharif season or in the Ravi season or a season which is day neutral, okay, uh, both days and nights are almost uh, uh, same. Now, here I would like to impress upon you below the temperature. The metabolism activities of the crop plant cease to function effectively. That means the plant cannot perform its physiological activities. That's what I would like to impress upon you in India. During Kharif season, that is southwest monsoon season, the best temperature is 10 degrees, and for Rabi season, it is 5 degrees. So this is uh, uh, my uh, contribution to agricultural metrology. These uh, values are working very well particularly in the tropical area. Now, let's go to advantages or importance of GDD. Now, see, the GDD is a small and simple concept of uh, relating plant growth development. Of course, in the previous slide, I wrote reproductive phase and, okay, um, even grain yield. That's what I called it here as maturity. Growth development and maturity. Maturity includes reproductive phase as also uh, the grain yield. So, the GTD is a small and simple concept relating all these phases to the higher temperature. Number one, the growth of plant is dependent on the total amount of heat energy to which it is subjected during its lifetime. The GTDs are useful in innumerable ways. This is the concept on which you know many of my students have worked, both for their PG and a student work for his PhD. So, so GTD guides the agriculture operations land use plan. GDD helps in forecast of harvest dates, yield and quality. In forecasting labor requirements, GDDs are very useful for agriculture operations in forecasting the labor. Introduction of new genotype in new areas. This is, even though I mentioned it here at number four, in introducing new varieties or new crops from uh, uh, world, uh, I mean, uh, which is already a stabilized area into a new area, GDD is the best concept in my 
opinion in my research i proved beyond doubt in innumerable articles as also in the textbooks in predicting the likelihood of successful growth of a crop in new areas sir yes uh, best is the growing degree days now of course there is a modification to gdd see there are so many uh, areas on the globe particularly lot of heat is available in the tropics the energy available goes on decreasing when you go towards north or south pole so therefore depending upon the uh, weather conditions that's what i call it as the weather help okay okay uh, modifications can be suggested for can be added but basic frame is gdd t maximum plus t minimum by 2 minus best average that is that is and that is the basis from there to further enhance the biological meaning and wider area coverage of gdd application in weather health or daily weather and agriculture concept okay uh, converting gdd into htu and ptu would be of real use for what is htu just calculate gdd multiply it with the Actual hours of sunshine. If zero hours of sunshine are there, you get zero heliothermal units. If you get ten sunshine hours, GDD is fifteen. Fifteen into ten, one fifty heliothermal units you get. It. Similarly, photothermal units, GDD into day length. Day length, of course. Uh, try to recapitulate. That's why I request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Agrometrology Farmers and Rural Urban. There, in several locations, I told. Indian Standard Time, Local Mean Time, Local Apparent Time. So that day length, local apparent time. Okay. So if you multiply, what is the day length? Usually the day length is short in winters. It is more during the summers. So if you just multiply GDD with the day length, you get the photothermal units. So uh, these are the things uh, that are suggested for uh, okay modification to GDD. Now PLO. thermal units as i said htu is uh, when you multiply gdd with bright sunshine hours uh, you get the gdd in my research uh, even though it is a basic course uh, i would like to give you an a, a, a very good research finding from me is that uh, growing degree days are useful for uh, uh, forecasting the dc i mean uh, pest damage heliothermal units are useful for Uh, disease damage forecasting the disease damage this is proved beyond doubt by me in several of my research projects so photothermal units as i said gdd into day length nothing more than this now heat use efficiency energy use efficiency heat use what is heat use efficiency that's what we call the thermal time efficiency also this is the unit of dry matter so a unit of dry matter produced per unit of thermal time Are going to increase. Uh, this is expressed as uh, kgs of uh, kgs per hectare per degree centigrade per day. So that means uh, if you see the equation, you will further enlighten. Heat use efficiency H U E is equal total dry matter seeded in kgs per hectare by accumulated heat units. Say for example, to get two uh, thousand kgs per hectare. For uh, getting 2000 kg of uh, seed of uh, jowar per hectare how many accumulated heat units uh, uh, have taken place say for example 3000 heat units uh, from seed to seed so 2000 by 3000 so this is what you can say kg per hectare per degree per day of heat use efficiency now let us go to photothermal use efficiency ptu photothermal use efficiency what is photothermal as i said earlier it is defined as the total dry matter per hour total dry matter produced total dry matter yield per hour it gives the efficiency with which the viable day length utilized for dry matter yields expressed as kg per hour per degree centigrade per day here so day hour and the day hour means you know how many hours of the day are there in a day six hours or seven hours in the winter maybe eight to nine hours during the summer so photothermal 
यूज एफिशिएंसी इज पी टी यू ई पी टी यू ई टोटल ड्राई मैटर आर सी इज प्रोड्यूस बाय फोटोथर्मल यूनिट्स यू गेट दिस पर्टिकुलर फोटोथर्मल यूज एफिशिएंसी नो हीलियोथर्मल यूज एफिशिएंसी एच टी यू ई हीलियोथर्मल यूनिट्स नो टोटल ड्राई मैटर आर सी इज ईल्ड इन केस इज करेक्टर बाय हीलियोथर्मल यूनिट How we get the heliothermal units when GDD growing degree rates are multiplied by uh, our sun sunshine, bright sunshine. So it is defined as the total dry matter yield per hour or per unit of uh, degree centigrade day hours uh, on heliothermal units, uh, indicating the efficiency with which the available sunshine hours utilized for dry matter yields. Please, 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 and note that uh, bright sunshine hours differs a lot from the day length. As I said, the sunrise to sunset for each location (LMT) local mean time. Okay, uh, local apparent time. What is meant by local apparent time? When we deduct the local mean time from the day length, you get the local apparent time. So, uh, the sunrise to sunset. Uh, these are available for a, in every meteorological observatory. Here, what I would like to bring up on is that helio. thermal use efficiency heliothermal use efficiency is total dry matter or cd produced by heliothermal units uh, that were accumulated now similarly uh, the photo uh, thermo photo ratio what is thermo temperature photo means a combination of uh, temperature and uh, photons that is the length here you can say glowing degree rays by day length glowing degree rays by day length means you know degree centigrade day hours okay degrees Centigrade degree centigrade day hour. So what is it? Thermo temperature. Photo means you know that is photons are energy or length of the day. Okay. Thermo photo ratio is used to access per day or that particular day length. Okay. Degree days requirement of the plant with regard to day length experienced by plants in a particular environment to produce dry matter. To produce dry matter finally. So this is what. thermo photo ratio uh, growing degree days uh, divided by day length we get it so uh, uh, phenol thermal index uh, is almost similar phenol means no physiological state thermal index means no temperature index so physiological phase wise what is the thermal index uh, growing degree days divided by growth days growth days not uh, A day length here, growth days vegetative 35, reproductive 40, maturity 35. So what this is what uh, phenol thermal index gives an idea about the rate of development of various physiological events. What are the physiological events? So, germination, emergence, vegetative phase. Even in the vegetative phase, two leaf stage, four leaf stage, six leaf stage, reproductive phase. What is the reproductive phase? Flower initiation, flower development, in process development. Seed formation, seed development, what not? So these are all the physiological events. So phenothermal index gives an idea about the rate of development of various physiological events with the reference to heat units. Please, please note, all our class is moving around the heat units. That is a growing degree test. So which will eventually help in evaluating the relative performance of different varieties. We have different varieties. Which may choose in 120 days. Which may choose in a, a short duration of rice, uh, 120 days. A medium duration, 160 days. A long duration, more than 160 days. So, even in the uh, duration, you know, different varieties perform differently. To know that one, the phenothermal index (PTI) growing degree rate multiplied by divided by growth rate, we get a wonderful information on phenothermal uh, index. The units are degree rate per day.